Hey, what's going on? Well, in this particular video, I want to talk a little bit about wedding packages and uh, some things that, that I've had happen to me over my years of uh, being a mobile DJ. And I just thought I would just you know, kind of share some things with you, just give you some things to think about on this, okay? First of all, whenever I have a bride and groom that will inquire, I usually send them a wedding packet. And it's a pretty detailed wedding packet. And, you know, that could have its benefits and it could be bad as well. I guess it depends on how you look at it. But I've had so many brides tell me, you know, that they love the wedding packet because I answer every question that they've had. And I talk about the services we have to offer. I give them a, a sample itinerary of how things are normally set up. You know, talk about the, the events that we have, you know, like the cocktail hour, the wedding party introductions, the, you know, first dance, father, bride dance, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All the, the normal events that you would have at a wedding reception. And, we, you know, we outline that. And of course, it has the pricing information on what we have to offer there as well. But now here's the thing: sometimes I've had uh, some brides, and I usually get a few of these a year. Not not very many, but some of them that will uh, call me up or email me, and they'll say, "Well, you know what? We've looked at your wedding packet, and uh, you know all the information that you have. But you know what? We're really not going to use all the services that you have to offer. Like we, for example, we don't want to do the bouquet throw, the garter toss, or you know, I'm not going to have a father bride dance or a mother groom dance or anything like that. We just want a first dance and have all the other events." And then they'll ask me if, uh, if that affects the pricing and if I'll be taking any money off because they're not going to include these events. Well, my answer to that is no. And this is the way I justify that, okay? You know, first of all, the price is what it is. Okay, if you're charging something for a wedding, that's the price. That's, that's what it is, okay? And uh, the way I look at it is, uh, you know, that I realize that every bride and groom is not going to use every single service that we have or, you know, do every single event that we have. But here's a way to justify that, okay? Let's say that, for example, you're going to Subway. And, uh, you know, Subway is one of my favorite restaurants. I love to go there and get their, you know, uh, foot-long uh, Subway sandwiches, you know, the chips and the drink and all that. And, uh, you know, let's say you walk into your local Subway. And just for sake of argument, let's say that, uh, you know, a Subway sandwich is going to cost about $6.50. Okay, you walk in there and, uh, you know, you, you go and you, and you look and you see, you know, what, what sandwiches you want. You look up there on the board and you see that the sandwiches, uh, foot-longs, are $6.50. And, uh, you know, you tell the guy there behind the counter what uh, what sandwich you want, and he starts making it, you know, and, and starts putting the cheese on it, maybe puts it in the toaster. And then when he brings it out, you see all those vegetables he's got right there. You know, and you got all the sauces, you know, like your ranch, uh, you know, uh, uh, everything else like mustard and, you know, all the salt and peppers and everything. You got all those vegetables, too, you know, like pickles and tomatoes and everything else. Well, now, to be honest with you, I'm a very picky eater, so usually what I tell them is I just want lettuce and ranch on my sandwich. If I go in there and get a grilled chicken sandwich, that's usually what I get, just lettuce and ranch. So I'm very, uh, you know, pretty easy to please when it comes to things like that. But I do have the option of getting all those vegetables on there if I wanted. If I wanted to load it down, you know, with onions and tomatoes and everything else, everything that they have right there, you know, all those vegetables are right there in front of me. I could have the option of having that on my sandwich if I wanted to. That's all included. Well, just because I tell the guy that, uh, you know, behind the counter that I just want lettuce and ranch, do you think he's going to say, okay, well, since you just want lettuce and, uh, and uh, ranch on your sandwich, uh, we're going to knock off $3. Well, no, they're not going to do that. I mean, the price is still going to be $6.50 whether I use all those vegetables or not. You know, I can use all those vegetables, have everything on my sandwich, but if I don't have, uh, have it on my sandwich, then, I mean, it's not going to affect the pricing. You know, same thing if you go to McDonald's. I mean, if you go and order a Big Mac and you tell them you just want ketchup and mustard on there, you don't want any lettuce or tomato or anything like that, well, I mean, they're not going to take off money, you know, for that. I mean, the price is still going to be the same, but they'll still make it the way you want it. And that's kind of the way I justify it as well. I mean, you know, the brides and grooms may not use all the services that we have, and they may not want to do all the events, but that's not going to affect the pricing. I mean, we're still going to customize their wedding reception the way that they want it. So anyway, that's just a little tidbit there for you, and uh, think about that. You know, if a bride ever calls you up, use that subway analogy there and explain to them that way. So I've used that you know several times, and uh, you know it justifies you know why we uh, why we keep the prices the way we do. So anyway, if you got any comments, uh, feel free to comment down below. And until next time, practice and enjoy.